I've been here for 35 years when you consider uh, I went to medical school here. I started as an assistant professor and now am full professor in the Department of Pediatrics. I'm also an assistant dean in diversity and inclusion. When I interviewed for medical school, this was one of my favorite places because the environment was so friendly. People were more than willing to help you. Uh, people like Betty Murphy uh, welcomed us. Uh, somebody, Mark Farney, uh, was one of the guys that was showing me around and was very excited about this school. I had to get excited about it also. I think it's for the same reason. I mean, it's a friendly environment. Uh, there's, there are lots of opportunities for growth. And uh, it's been incredible to be able to uh, to work at this place and I love the diversity of the population and I um, it's it's just it's just a fabulous environment I'm most proud that I started off an assistant professor and made it through the ranks to full professor uh, it's it's a great honor because it's colleagues that are basically seeing it, have you met the criteria to, uh, to move up in, in the world, so to speak, in ac academia. And that, that's, uh, that means a lot to me. I've always had a notion of teaching ever since I was, I think, in high school and then college as a tutor. And so it was a natural to start to teach in medical school and I was given the opportunity. So I've been able to help teach the medical students in their basic science, in neuroscience, also in the clinics and in the hospital. So it's, it's great to see them also uh, mature into you know, some great doctors. It's grown a bit. Uh, for sure, we, we were 200 students when I went to medical school here. We're now 240 students on average, but the environment remains the same. I think that that's really important. Uh, but I think the, the growth uh, hasn't changed the, the very good things of the school. Being surrounded in medical school by some really smart people I think, you know, to be selected to go to medical school, you have to be doing well. And I think all of us are, are used to being told, oh yeah, you're, you're doing really well. Then you get here and everybody is so smart. But it was a great challenge because it brings the best out of uh, all of us. And in this type of environment at uh, McGovern, uh, it, it lends itself to, uh, for cooperation basically. I think uh, genetics is one of the biggest things that is happening now. I think this school is posed to make big uh, discoveries there. And uh, with those discoveries, treatments, uh, especially being in this environment in the largest medical center in, in the country, if not the world, 